Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe McCall and we're going to talk about the Lexus Off-Road Racing, The Untold Story in 2010. This is my Season 2, um, Episode 1. Hopefully you've seen uh, Season 1. Uh, that's all about my 2009, the beginning of the Lexus uh, story here. But we're moving into 2010. This was absolutely the best year we had throughout all the years uh, we raced. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe. Click on that button as well as ring that bell. I'll try to give you as much updates and new videos uh, as soon as I can. But it's time to click that seat belt because I'm going to take you for a little ride in the LX570 Baja race truck. All right, so I wanted to talk about the score 2010 off-road uh, race season that we raced. Uh, we raced all five races. This was uh, my first and our team's first full season. Um, as you can see, there's five races here. We've got the Laughlin Desert Challenge in January, uh, the San Felipe 250 in March, and in June, obviously, the, the score Baja 500, which we won the year before. And uh, we got Prim 300 in September, and finally the Baja 1000 in November. Uh, this was absolutely a phenomenal year for us. So I'm going to step through each race, um, show you some really cool footage, just talk about some things that happened over this year, and uh, let's just jump right into it. This is the Laughlin uh, race uh, here in Nevada, and um, this is a, a picture uh, of me, you know hitting these jumps this is like a motocross track or you know short course uh, for off-road racing and it just wasn't something I've ever done before you don't even have time to you know to take a breath you're just constantly trying to get through the course you got traffic you got all kinds of different race trucks on the on the course and uh, this is interesting if you look at the right side of my truck see it's all smashed um, you know just in that in that ram you can see in the picture I got the break on my on him on the start. I make my left, I make my right turn. I'm just ahead of him and he rams me as hard as he can. Um, he said he didn't have any brakes. I don't know, don't believe it. I think he was just mad that I got in front of him, but uh, put me on two wheels. I thought I was rolling the truck into the berm. I was able to save it um, and he got by me and then I had to kind of put my head down, cool off a little bit and just find really smooth lines to, to catch up to him and get by him. And you know, this is a really rough course. You're in a production, basically, you know, vehicle and uh, you have to really do your homework and, and find any smooth areas possible, um, which we did. So we ended up getting by him back and forth. We went back and forth probably six, seven, eight times. I mean, it was just bumper to bumper, you know, mirror to mirror. Uh, the most, one of the most exciting races I think I've ever had. And um, I think the advantage we had was my truck was light and uh, also just the all wheel drive in this sand. It just was able to get just a little extra. Um, I know Justin had uh, a four wheel drive, so we were, we were, we were close all the way around, but uh, we ended up getting uh, in front of him at the very end on Saturday, first day uh, of our racing. And we, we got him, we got the win, which was just insane. It, what was crazy was I looked in my mirror heading into the finish and all I see is a tire in the air and dust and stuff I'm like what the heck happened well I found out you know when I finished that he literally broke his truck didn't even get to the finish line uh, because he was tr just pushing his truck so hard he just ripped an a-arm right off his truck and uh, that pretty much ended it for him so so that was day one uh, going into day two was pretty much the same thing uh, you know we just were able to get by our competitors and what's crazy is you know they put a lot of race cars on this course I can't remember I think it might be oh gosh it maybe a five mile course I'm not exactly sure I can't remember how long it was maybe less than that but uh, there was just a lot of traffic so you know you're doing everything you can to just stay safe and not get collected into into someone else or them taking you out uh, I mean I'm, I'm racing against some really fast guys um, I can remember 
uh, some pretty fast vehicles coming by me and just spraying me with a huge roost. And, uh, you know, it's just rocks are flying at you. We don't have a windshield. So, um, you know, Bob Dittner, my co-driver, and I just, we just put our head down and let's just, you know, do what we did on Saturday. Uh, let's just run a clean race on Sunday and um, not get uh, overexcited. But uh, we ended up getting the win on Sunday. And, you know, so one and one. So we go in into Laughlin with uh, basically, uh, you know, first in points in score series and uh, a first overall for that race. So check out this picture right here. So look at the race trucks that are behind me. Um, you've got pro trucks and class seven, class eight. I mean, these are way modified trucks compared to mine. And the best part was we were able to hold these trucks off for, God, for a, quite a long time, surprisingly. They're not in my class. I wasn't racing against them, but I kept waiting for them to pass me and they just weren't. I'm like, I'm looking in my mirror going, how come these guys aren't getting by me? Pretty much because we had the all wheel drive. I mean, we had decent horsepower and we were just clicking along really well. Those guys have a lot more travel, but they just didn't have power to the ground and they were just spinning in that rear. You know, couldn't quite catch an all wheel drive truck um, easy, as easily as they may have thought, but uh, I thought that was funny. Uh, just people wouldn't probably believe it, but we actually uh, were holding our own um, with among a lot of other classes. I mean, I just couldn't believe we just won both races um, in this format in Laughlin. Never raced Laughlin before. Super stoked. That's our second win, um, but uh, our first win for 2010, starting off the season. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And, uh, you know, Bob and I were just super stoked. Um, you know, we're focused, you know, we just want to do a good job for our sponsors. And, uh, you know, you can see this little press release. I think this was maybe, maybe from King Shocks. I can't remember now, but, uh, you know, survives first corner hit to win the Laughlin Desert Challenge in our class, which I just thought was, it was just so cool. This was the very beginning of things really starting to, uh, to ramp up for us in 2010. All right, so we are going into our second race of the series. Uh, this is San Felipe. Uh, 250. I've never raced this race before. Um, I didn't realize that it had 100 miles of whoops uh, or more than 100, but just it was a super rough race and uh, not really prepared correctly. Honestly, the suspension wasn't really tuned for that particular race, but you know, we, uh, we're, we were ready to go and did what we could. But one thing that I did was I changed the graphics on the truck for 2010 uh, after our uh, initial Laughlin race, which we had the previous. Uh, look, um, we went with a new look and uh, I just thought, you know what, let's just make it look that much better. I put the, the big King Kong above the wheel, kind of like peeling through the, the sheet metal. Uh, I just wanted people to know that this was a, a really su sweet ride and uh, I, I just think it looked really great with a lot of the, the sponsors getting that much more exposure. Okay, as you can see, once again, our rendering uh, looked pretty realistic uh, once we got it all on there. and. Uh, truck looked amazing. I was super happy with it. You know, um, H1 Media did a great job once again doing the graphics for us. And uh, as you can see, this thing is just spotless. I mean, I've already got races under my belt in this in this truck and I just, I'm super OCD and when I prep the thing and it just, I want to make it look new every single time. I mean, it just, people looked at us like sometimes, did you have you ever raced that truck before? And I'm like, yeah, we raced it quite a few times now. So it just, uh, it was fun. So here's the map. This is uh, the 2010 San Felipe uh, race course. And, um, you know, Bob and I never raced it before. I didn't get much pre-running in, uh, just didn't have a, a good opportunity to do it. But um, as you can see, San Felipe, you can see the, the town to the right there. Um, it goes north and uh, it goes, you know, all the way down south into a place called Matomi Wash. And I mean, just one of the roughest parts of Baja is in San Felipe. Everybody talks about it. Uh, you know, if your truck isn't dialed in, especially on the suspension going through San Felipe, you can pretty much guarantee you're not going to finish, uh, not only in San Felipe, but maybe like the Baja 1000 or something, because that section destroys vehicles, period. It's probably the best proving ground you could ask for. So I thought I'd share some of the, some of the pictures from the contingency or we call it tech inspection. Um, I did this in the Baja 500 and the Baja 1000 in 2009. So I wanted to share what it, what it's kind of like at uh, the San Felipe race. Um, 
lots of uh, lots of people, just like uh, you see in Ensenada. Um, not quite as big, but you know the the people are just so friendly. I mean, everybody wants autographs. They all want uh, pictures with you. Uh, it just makes you feel like a rock star for a, for a short amount of time. But uh, you know, it's fun. You know, these kids they miss school that day. Probably most likely, it's like a national holiday. Anytime Baja racing is going on, um, kids seem to be uh, out of school. But uh, always fun to to be a part of that. And uh, that's probably one of the most enjoyable parts uh, besides racing is just being around the fans and uh, and showing off your race car and uh, and meeting all these new people. So it's time to go racing. Uh, this is the next day and uh, you know Bob and I are, are, are excited. We didn't really know what to expect. Uh, you know we wanted to obviously get a finish most importantly but we wanted to get another win. Uh, we wanted to stay on top of points. Beating guys like Justin Matney and, and Wes Beverly and all those guys out there uh, I mean, there's there's some fast, stockful production drivers, and we just wanted to uh, stay on top. As you can see, you know, we're just cruising through the race course. These are some great pictures of us uh, doing what we got to do. You can see some of the real heavy sand and silt that we went through, and that all-wheel drive uh, LX just powered through. Um, you know, we again, I diced and battled against uh, Justin. We just keep going at it, and. Uh, we got by him, um, I can't remember exactly where, I think it was uh, um, maybe about 100 miles in um, where we kind of started to, to pull on, on Justin and some other guys and uh, put our head down, tried to run super smooth, don't make any mistakes, don't beat the truck up, you know. It was interesting, um, you know, it was a little bit warm out, not terribly, but it was um, noticeable in the fact that uh, I was getting quite a bit of suspension fade, yeah, you know, just the suspension, even though it's really good suspension from King. It just, the cycles were so extreme with all the whoops that they have in San Felipe that uh, you start really seeing, starts to fade and, and uh, you know, you know, bottom here and there. But as it starts to cool down, you know, the sun sets, uh, things start to get a little bit stiffer again and your speeds actually can start to go up a little bit. So it is interesting when just temperature, how it changes your speeds in, uh, in, in driving. So we get the win once again. That's first in Laughlin, first in San Felipe in our class, and we're super pumped. I mean, we just can't even believe it. We're, we're, we're leading points in the stock full class, and we are doing our job, you know, and having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it's just everything's going our way. We want to continue this streak going into the Baja 500. So look for uh, my next video. It uh, should be coming out soon. This is going to be episode two of season two, uh, 2010. Uh, we'll start off with the Ba 500 in the next video. Thanks.